okay now I'll start with the fifth step that is selecting and downloading a theme which will be compatible with your website you can find the WordPress themes as just type in WordPress themes and as you can see these are the free WordPress themes you can do it from your dashboard of WordPress appearance go to themes and click on add new so when you click on add new many themes will be shown to you now let's take for an example that we want to install this theme these are the popular themes latest you can install any theme if you want to install theme just copy the name that is clean wp let's say i want to install clean wp as my theme you can search it here clean wp and it will be shown now for the time being let's say we want to install this theme just click on install this will take a moment it will depend on your internet speed so here it is you can live preview it as how the theme will look on your website or you can activate it let me activate it okay now when we go to our website and this has been changed as you can see the theme has been changed and this is it for the theme let's say i want another theme watch what this has been one of my favorite themes so here it is if we install it Okay, it is taking some time don't worry it will be done in a minute or so and okay after the theme part is done as it is let's activate it and now when you see the website I'm using this theme on my present website that is blogs bucket this is the theme now as you can see there it is wordpress theme by cadence themes now you need to change that for that you can just go and search for wordpress in my website in the wordpress section Okay. I mentioned the methods on how you can do install single in the WordPress section. Type in footer and here it is how to remove proudly powered by WordPress, which is happening in this case that the theme by cadence themes. Just go through it go through the steps I've mentioned very clearly on how you can do it go through the steps and you'll be able to remove the WordPress theme by cadence theme this line and uh, add other stuff so this is the completion of the fifth part or fifth step that is installing and applying theme to your website you can apply other themes if necessary you can comment below I will help in that section I will try to help in that section and now let's go to the sixth step and one of the most important step that is installing plugin in your website